this land's close to my heart. Just never felt like they'd build a wall. Still don't think it will. All right, I'm going to get in. Let's go. We're headed to the Rio Grande River, and it's probably about five and a half miles from the house right back there, down here. The way that you will see it now is the way that I have seen it ever since I've lived here, and that's been all of my life. What you're seeing here right now is all private property. It's mine. It's all open space land. We raise sheep and goats, and then that's what we use the land for. It, we graze it and raise animals. I don't think a wall here where we live on this part of the river is feasible. And I don't think here a physical barrier would ever do much good. I do believe that it needs to be watched. We do need to know what's coming and going across our borders. I think there's other ways. First, a virtual wall. You'll think we're not on a road, but we're actually on a road. <laughs> I did vote for Trump. I think he's enough of a businessman that he realizes that some things is not popular. Although that was his rhetoric in the campaign, we're going to build a wall and, you know, Mexico's going to pay for it. Mm, well, I don't think it. What I was saying about a, a camera, if you had a camera set up up here on some kind of a stand, you could see how far up the river you can see and see how far down the river you can see. If there's something happening, then you can send somebody to respond to it. We don't need to be separating. United States from Mexico. We've got a border together. We, we need to still be able to talk and communicate across it. When you put up the wall, that's the end of that. And here's where you're looking at the river. I say, there's your wall already built, right there. I guess it's on the wrong side of the river, maybe, but anyway, it's a wall. <laughs>